love for the support that you have been giving me i really appreciate you much god bless you i don't take you for granted just know that how are you all doing i hope you're all fine welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video so guys as this video is going to be a story time yes these days it is a story after story story after story but what makes me more happy is that we get to learn from these stories because every story is different and this brings me to the comment i received in the last video or in the last story that i shared someone was saying bella we only want you to share success stories but guys in this world nothing has got only a positive side there is always that negative side of it i cannot just sit here and pretend that everyone that finds love on online dating apps then they live their dream life lovey-dovey romantic life <laughs> everything works well no guys there's some online dating love stories which don't work out people get married and they find themselves in trouble but when you come to listen to their stories you come to find out that there are some things they ignored those red flags and that is why guys i come here to share with you these stories so that you get to learn you don't ignore these red flags and on your search you find a right man that will treat you good that will make that relationship or your marriage work forever guys i am not here to discourage you i am not here to tell you all white men on the dating apps are bad i'm not here to tell you it will not work i'm not here to tell you quit no that is not my intention i am here to tell you you should be careful you should be aware of these things when you see them in a white man that you are chatting to or that you are dating better end the relationship as early as possible before it's too late and when i share success stories it means that i want you guys to be inspired and believe that it is possible so i'll be mixing doing both success stories and stories that have not worked challenges that black women go through on online dating apps so guys as this story will be about a lady from zimbabwe by the name of miriro but she told me bella call me miri <laughs> so i've been calling her miri so let's call her miri too <laughs> yeah so miri found love on online dating apps everything went very well and i'll share with you what kind of a dating app she found love but after getting married things happened this lady married a devil and by listening to this whole story you are going to agree with me that miri married a devil the guy is from france by the name of maxim so dear friends before we go to what happened when miri got married or how did she find love on online dating apps we need to know miri's relationship background before joining online dating apps what happened what pushed her to join online dating apps is it that she couldn't find a good guy from zimbabwe to marry her and decided to join online dating apps what really pushed her? Mary is 24 years of age, a working lady, very hard working lady. In her past relationships, she was in a relationship with a guy from Zimbabwe. They were so much in love with each other. And when it arrived a moment of introduction, the guy took Mary to his family. But what happened is that the family did not accept Mary. They said that they did not like the tribe where Mary is coming from. So they stopped their son to marry Mary. Mary really got angry at herself. She hated her origin because she really loved that guy. It took her so long to get over it. But the good thing is that despite the guy listened to the parents of not marrying Mary, though he was in love with Mary, 
but he did not stop communicating to Mary. He could always check on her, how she's doing. So they maintained like a friendship relationship. They were no longer a couple who are in love. So that was her relationship background. And after that, Mary was not into dating. She continued with her life, with her work. And one day she tells me she was at the local market and saw this beautiful mixed couple. The girl was from Zimbabwe and the guy was a white man. When she saw that mixed couple, she really got inspired. Guys, you know white men. <laughs> Most white men, when they're in love with you, they will hug you, they will kiss you in public, you hold hands. Something that is very rare with an African man. So Miri saw this couple hugging, you know, holding hands, kissing in public. She was like, oh my God, I want that kind of a relationship. So she started having thoughts of dating a white guy. What Miri did, she said, I'm on Facebook. I'm going to try my best until I find a white guy on Facebook. <laughs> So she started looking for ways on Facebook and came across a page that was connecting black women to white men. She contacted this page and they told her, yes, they can help her find a white guy, but she only needs to pay $50. So Miri paid, as I've told you, Miri is a working lady. After paying, they gave her the WhatsApp number of this guy and then started chatting with this white man. She was very happy and started seeing herself getting married to a white guy. You know guys how we they dream? <laughs> So Miri chatted with this guy for a week. Everything was going very well until the guy just went quiet. She decided to go back on Facebook and contact this page that connected her to a guy. They told her that the guy did not like Miri. So that is why he decided to keep quiet. So Miri lost her money. There was no connection done, but she started blaming herself and was like, why am I being rejected? What is wrong with me? And something surprising guys, Miri is a very beautiful lady, very, very beautiful. And I can understand Miri guys, cause rejection is not good at all. It can make you lose your self esteem. And that is what happened to Miri. So Miri tells us that one day she was on Facebook, she had gone there to post her photos, her birthday party photos, and then popped up an advert of this dating app. When she saw an advert, she decided to click on it and just like magic, she registered herself in that dating app. She was so happy that that advert popped up and started chatting with guys. So she was chatting with different guys and nothing serious was happening until a guy from Spain wrote to Mary. They started chatting, they vibed, everything was super good started planning of their future. The guy could tell Miri, I see you as my wife. <laughs> you are the only woman in my life. Guys, sometimes these men on online dating apps can tell you beautiful words that all the time you feel like you want to smile. <laughs> So that is what was happening with Miri <laughs> chatting to this guy from Spain. So everything went well until they started discussing of how to meet. So the guy asked Miri, do you have a passport? Miri was like, yes, I have a passport. Then he went ahead and asked, how do you think we are going to meet? Cause you are on the other part of the world. <laughs> Miri was like, yes, I can travel. There's no problem. And then the guy told Miri, can you pay for your own ticket? Cause I'm not planning to send you my documents or send you a plane ticket. That is not going to happen. Miri was like, no, I'm not in the position to pay for myself. I don't have that money. Then the guy was like, I don't know what is wrong with African ladies. You go on online dating apps, start searching for white men. You know, you are on the other side of the world and you expect these men to pay for your flight tickets. That is very, very strange. If you cannot manage to pay for your own flight ticket, invite yourself, pay for your own hotel when you come here to meet me, then let's end this relationship. Guys, Miri was down again. She cried a lot and then she started blaming herself for not having money to go visit this guy. <laughs> 
when you are new to the dating apps you can fall in the traps of these guys if a guy is not ready to pay for your flight ticket is not ready to send you his documents you shouldn't waste your time on him that is not your problem because I said guys a man should be a man if you're interested in a lady you are in the site where exist black women you are chatting with this girl she is in Nigeria example how do you think you are going to meet if you're not ready to go meet her you tell her maybe I am busy with work it's you that is supposed to come then put money into it put some efforts into this relationship so never feel down just because a guy is telling you i can't be with you because of the distance or if you can pay everything for yourself come meet me that would be okay then you start blaming yourself for not having money no even if you have that money never pay for that flight ticket to go meet this guy he should show his efforts so miri was very down because she was new to this whole thing she did not have any experience so she was just you know just a genuine girl with no malicious thoughts <laughs> that some people can be cruel sometimes in this life <laughs> so dear friends miri tells us that she really got angry at herself for not having money to go to spain visit this guy that she met online so guys miri started saving and as she was saving she continued chatting with other guys hoping to find the one <laughs> yeah so one day came a guy from france by the name of Maxim. And that is going to be our today's main story, Maxim and Miri. <laughs> so Maxim wrote to Miri, introduced himself, told her that he is 50 years old, lives with his mother and does not have a job because he lost his job during the pandemic. It was 2020. But told Miri, don't worry that I don't have a job. We are okay, my mother is okay and i will look for another job so it shouldn't threaten you or it shouldn't make you leave me i really want to know you more because i want to create something serious with you i am at the age whereby i don't want to play games anymore because <laughs> i'm 50 i don't have time to play so miri was so happy that maxim is very open and genuine to her Maxim could call Miri every evening to talk with her on a video call. Everything was going very well. They were in love with each other, you know, lovebirds. <laughs> and Miri tells us that Maxim sometimes when they could talk, he could mix English with French, very romantic French words that would make her see herself in heaven dancing with the angels. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god love is beautiful so after chatting with maxim for six months maxim told miri i want to come to zimbabwe to marry you i want our wedding to be there i am very very serious so start talking to your parents that you have someone who is interested in you and wants to marry you Miri couldn't believe what Maxim was saying, but it was the truth. You know, guys, when you go through a lot in your relationships, <laughs> then when something real comes, sometimes you don't believe it. And even if it is real, sometimes you feel like maybe I'm going to lose it, just like the way it happened <laughs> in the past. So Miri was in that kind of state, went ahead, talk to her mother because Mary does not have a father lost her father years ago so the mother was like what a white man do you know that man very well i think it is too fast Mary. you need to take your time but Mary told her mother that i love the man and i think he is a very good man so the mother told her i'm going to talk to my brothers my sisters you know the aunties and the uncles to Mary about this the traditional way guys <laughs> yeah so miri's mother went and talked to his relatives discussed about it like the whole day discussing the whole thing and when she returned back home told miri it is not possible you're not going to marry that man because even your uncles 
are not agreeing with it what if this man deals with you know human trafficking what if this man takes you and then go to sell you in the streets as a prostitute we are not agreeing this you will find a man to marry you here she really got angry at her mother that she found love and then the mother is not agreeing the mother has accepted his relatives the brothers and sisters <laughs> to wash her brain brainwash her and accept that mary shouldn't get married to this french guy to maxime mary got very confused after hearing the mother's words and decided to talk to her friends and see if they will support her but after talking to the friends do you know what the friends told her <laughs> the friends too were like mary it's too early you need to take your time you don't know this guy europe is very far who is going to rescue you if something happens we are here but we can't even afford a flight to come to france to rescue you so be very careful take this thing slow but guys when you are in love <laughs> and such things happen also you start calculating what happened in the past i got a guy parents refused me i got another guy he rejected me he said he was not interested i got another one if i don't have money i shouldn't go visit him now i have a real guy that is ready to come marry me and take me to his country everyone is against it so she was really frustrated and that is when she came across my instagram page not youtube channel instagram page so guys miri contacted me and was like Bella I see you are married to a white guy in the situation where I need help because maybe you have gone through this before getting married I need your help so I told Mary go ahead and tell me that is when she started telling me the whole thing that she's dating a guy from France they met on online dating apps they have never met <laughs> they're going to be meeting for the first time and get married at the same time so marriage at first sight but her relatives are against it even her friends are against the whole thing they are telling her to wait they are telling her that maybe the guy might be into human trafficking so when she told me about that kind of human trafficking it wasn't the first time hearing that because there are some stories also of ladies who are having difficult of traveling because parents were suspecting maybe the guys are bad they're going to treat her like a slave such kind of stuff so i started asking miri about the guy because we need to start from there <laughs> i remember i asked miri do you trust this guy is your heart telling you that he is the right man do you know very well about his life Miri was like, I trust the guy. My heart tells me he is the one. I've even talked to the mother because my boyfriend lives with his mother and he is very honest with me. He even told me he does not work, but he's going to find a job very soon. So I am very okay with this guy. I want to get married to him. The problem is my parents. But not only that, there is another problem that I haven't even shared to my mother. <laughs> when she hears that, I don't know what she's gonna say. I told her, what is it? <laughs> She said, Maxime does not want to pay for the bride price. And in Zimbabwe, you must pay for a bride price, especially where Miri is coming from. Bride price is very, very important. But Maxime said, it's not in our culture. I'm not going to buy you because that is like buying you. So forget about it. If it is all about the bride price, forget even about me forget about the marriage so miri was telling me what can i do should i tell my mother i am very scared i don't know what she's gonna say and his brothers what they are going to say because they are rejecting the guy already guys i felt very bad for maxime and the reason to why i felt bad is because these people did not know maxime why judge the guy that you don't even know 
Why judge him? Why talk bad about him? At least get to know him and then judge him. <laughs> so I really felt sorry for the guy. And what I told Miri, this is your life, remember. And the only person that can save you is your mother. Sit down with your mother. Tell your mother that I love this guy. Clear all the doubts that your mother has about the guy. Assure her that the guy is good, like the way you are assuring me, because she gave me a very good picture of Maxim. I saw that Maxim was a good guy. So I told her, try to talk to your mom and tell her also about the bride price, that it is not in their culture. If she keeps on insisting that the guy should pay, don't worry tell your mother that after getting married the guy is gonna pay slowly by slowly i even told her there's no problem once you're there you find a job you can even decide to pay that bright price for yourself you know to make your mother happy to make your relatives happy because it is your culture but don't lose this guy just because of bright price <laughs> I know guys, at the end of this video, you'll be like, Bella, Bella, your advice. But guys, I'm not the one to be blamed. And let's not judge Miri. I beg you of oh, what happened. <laughs> So guys, Mary went and talked to her mother, you know, mother and daughter, <laughs> told her that, mom, I want to get married to this guy. I've been having bad relationships in the past, but this is the only guy that has accepted me. Please let me get married to this guy. And you know mothers. So the mother was like, it's okay, you can get married. When the story of not paying the bride price came, the mother's like, no, even your uncles won't accept this. Cause that bride price guys, is not only for the parents, the mother and the sisters, no, it is for the uncles, the aunties, <laughs> they share the money oh. <laughs> and the things that are given as the bride price. <laughs> yeah. Cause if anything happens in their marriage, it means that the uncles, the parents, will be responsible to make this couple reconcile because they took the bride price, the marriage should work. <laughs> so that is what Miri told me and decided to convince the mother to talk to the uncles so that they can understand. Also told her that don't worry, he's gonna pay as we get married. I'm going to try my best to talk to Maxime, he will pay, but first let me get married in peace. <laughs> So guys, the mother accepted, but when talked to her relatives, they refused. The uncle were like, no, even if this guy pays for the bride price, we are not accepting that our daughter marries him. She is not going anywhere. <laughs> Let's go back to Mary and Maxime. They continued with their plans for him to come. They continued with their plans for him to come to Zimbabwe because Miri never shared anything that was going on about the relatives refusing, about the friends rejecting him and judging him. She never shared that information because <laughs> she was scared he might change his mind. The day for Maxim to go to Zimbabwe arrived and Miri was at the airport waiting for her king. So he arrived and they were so happy to meet each other for the first time. Remember, they were in love with each other already. So they went straight to where this guy had booked for his hotel. I know what you're thinking. I know, I know. <laughs> the goodies. Yes, she gave her goodies because the guy was going to marry her. <laughs> he is her husband-to-be. <laughs> He's not returning to France without marrying her. So it was okay for her to share the goodies. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it was okay? Write me in the comment section below. So guys, they enjoyed their goodies. <laughs> and the next day was the day for the introduction <laughs> to Mary's relatives. So something like a party was prepared and it is Mary's mother that prepared that party. She invited the uncles, the sisters, same same people that were rejecting the guy. <laughs> so they went at first, they greeted him well, they ate and after eating, that is when the heat started. <laughs> the uncles told Maxime straight in the face that 
you are not going to marry our daughter we are not accepting this relationship better go back to france we don't want you miri was very embarrassed very very embarrassed imagine yourself in that kind of a situation it's very very bad so guys after the introduction it did not go well at all they left with maxime went to the hotel miri tried to talk to maxime that don't worry i'm going to keep talking to my relatives everything is going to be fine miri tried her best convince him and it worked guys it brought them even more closer so after three days guys something happened Afro cinema continues shortly. <laughs> Let me take my water, guys, because I'm losing my voice. <laughs> so, guys, what happened after those three days was something very, very bad. Because Miri's uncles went to the police to report that, went to report that Maxime is into human trafficking. So the police came to the hotel where Maxime was staying and they took him to the police station, interrogated him, took his passport, every document that he had, they took it and threw him in the cell. Miri cried very, very much tried to talk to the police to tell them that he is my boyfriend he is not into human trafficking this is a very big mistake you are doing but they never listened to her miri had to go talk to some friends they lend her money to bribe the police so that the boyfriend can go out so she did that and the boyfriend went out if you are an african when i'm talking about police being bribed you know if you know you know <laughs> <laughs> so the police released him gave him all his documents the passport every document that they took they returned all documents to him and from there he told miri we need to leave this country as soon as possible so what idea came they decided to run to zambia so miri only wanted time to talk to her mother that they are leaving the country due to all they are going through the mother was like it's okay i support you my daughter as long as you are happy i'm going to support you and when they arrived to zambia they booked for an appointment to the french embassy and the next day guys they went to the embassy with their documents it's maxime that entered inside that embassy and when he came out he had miri's visa to go to france so miri was very happy that everything went very smoothly nobody asked her anything and she did not want to bother to know what maxime told them that they give him the visa she was just happy wanting to leave the country and get married to maxime and that is what happened after four days they left zambia went to france when they arrived in france maxime's mother was so so happy to see miri everything was very good i remember miri telling me that the mother is so sweet and very very caring so miri stayed like a month in france and one day maxime asked miri about her past relationship then miri was like because it is the past i felt like i should tell him so i told him about the story of the guy that the parents refused me but i also told him that we are friends it is just a friendship relationship that has remained but surprisingly maxime really got angry started accusing miri she's trying to trick him so that she can get married and then bring the boyfriend to france miri was like i don't know what is happening why is this guy acting like this i told miri talk to him make him understand if you don't have any messages if you don't have any calls from this guy in your phone i don't think he should be jealousy miri told me we are only friends on facebook but we have not talked for really long 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 i told her tell him tell him all this make him understand she told me okay i'm going to try talk to him please pray for my relationship i don't want anything bad to happen i want everything to go very very well so miri went and talked to the guy everything calmed down the guy was like it's okay he understood so past two months miri stay in france and they started planning on how to get married 
and when it came the situation of the separation of properties or community of properties they chose the separation of properties told me that it is maxim's mother that proposed about that separation of properties and because she wanted to show maxim that i love you for who you are it's not about the properties i'm not a gold digger she accepted the separation of properties and they went ahead got married so guys after getting married things started happening maxim could drink the whole night he could go to bed at four in the morning miri started getting worried she wrote to me and told me about it actually she was complaining that the way they are living it's like they are not a married couple they take breakfast differently lunch they eat differently cause this guy sleeps the whole day wakes up at two in the afternoon i don't take breakfast with my husband i don't eat lunch with my husband i don't know what kind of life is this so guys i want to make everything clear about this separation of properties i was chatting to miri but she never told me anything about that i came to know about it later on when things got worse that is when miri told me about it and i told her why didn't you tell me about it we are talking all the time i could have advised you on something that could have saved you but it has happened we can't do anything so i told mary talk to this guy ask him why is he acting like that because sometimes guys the way people behave it is maybe due to what they went through in the past so i wanted to know why this guy was drinking every day acting like someone who is depressed after getting married mary talked to him and he told her that he is in a depression because because of what he went through with his ex-wife this guy divorced the first wife to let you know that is why when i think about it i drink a lot i've also been to a psychiatric hospital god when mary had that she started getting very very scared contacted me told me bella i just discovered that my husband was in a psychiatric hospital i told her why what happened she told me because of the trauma that he went through with the ex-wife so he is very depressed he's a very sad person and sometimes when he remembers that and sometimes when he remembers that it makes him drink a lot guys i was in a shock can you imagine chatting with a guy online and this guy has been to a psychiatric hospital and didn't tell you anything all along then you got married to him guys it was a very difficult moment for me because i've known their love story even before they got married so i told mary that this man needs help he needs to take medication alcohol won't help but i'm also sorry for what you are going through she was like yes bella it is really really bad it is not the life that i expected so guys passed some weeks without hearing from miri and i thought maybe everything was going well they have solved that problem at least they're in the process of solving it so i was just okay not worried and then miri came wrote to me but what she wrote guys miri told me that the husband asked her to bring another lady who is a prostitute so that they can make love together when she refused the guy was like this is me this is how i am these are my fantasies so you have to agree because you are my wife otherwise we are going to get divorced so when mary heard about the divorce she got scared because back home she resigned from her job and she escaped everyone was against it except her mother so she was like if i get a divorce what will happen so she accepted to make her husband happy but she told me i did that thinking it is only that one time which was wrong it was a huge huge mistake that mary did because you see these white men guys when you accept something at first 
Later on, you won't be able to say no because at first you say yes. So that was a very huge mistake. According to Miri, she told me, Bella, I was not comfortable about it because I don't know, for me, I'm used to a private love making not with someone else the third person i was very very uncomfortable and i told him i am not comfortable but he was not even listening to me so i told mary don't repeat it if he asks for it again do not agree stand on your ground you have your own dignity don't accept it please so mary told me okay and the next time guys i was right the guy asked again to bring another prostitute a different lady guys miri disagreed on it and that is when they started fighting a very very huge fight calling her names that you are a bitch you tricked me i thought we are compatible but it's not that you just wanted to live here in my country telling her a lot a lot a lot of bad words that cannot come from a man who loves you and what is more scaring guys this guy bought a gun but when miri asked told her that it is just a toy not a real gun but can a man of 50 years old buy a toy as a gun that sounded very very strange and i got scared more and more i told miri you need to look for the way to go out of that place it is no longer safe so miri was like okay i'm going to follow your advice but after three or four hours i got another dm miri telling me i am going to follow whatever my husband tells me because i don't have anyone here in france i don't have anywhere to go so he is the only person i know i'm going to follow everything to make my marriage work guys i got angry at miri a lot Do you know when you feel like useless i really felt useless the all advice that i gave to her was useless but guys she is in her marriage it is her life i can't force her to leave the guy i told her miri if you think that is the solution then i have nothing to say it ended there i kept quiet and then after four weeks miri returned when she returned she told me bella i regret getting married to this guy i did not tell you but we used to fight even when i was still in zimbabwe sometimes he could call drunk and start a fight for no reason i told her you did wrong it was good for you to tell me everything and i'm talking to you all ladies that have been writing to me to seek for advice help please when you come to me be open tell me everything don't leave even one thing tell me all the details so that i can help you because if you forget even one can be the red flag that will ruin your life so i told miri don't blame yourself things have happened she told me bella it is not only that a lot has been happening this guy is telling me to go sleep with his friends and he sleeps with the friend's girlfriend because they have this group whereby they exchange their girlfriends he used to do that even when he had his last girlfriend so i should accept that to go sleep with a different man that i don't know i told miri please listen to me i am talking to you now don't think that you don't have anyone in france to help you and accept this man to treat you like his sex slave do not accept that don't stand on your grounds and if you need help call the police but you need evidence so starting from now first of all don't accept to do what he is asking you start recording everything that is happening so that when something happens you call she told me he is telling me he's gonna divorce me i told her it shouldn't threaten you let him divorce you and that is when guys i remembered about the prenup agreement so i was like what agreement did you sign she told me separation of properties i was like oh my god that is why the guy is telling you i'm going to divorce you because he's not gonna lose anything when he divorces you that is why he's treating you the way he wants so i was like miri that is not a problem it's okay save your life 
So I asked her what is his mother saying about all this thing of sleeping with friends, of bringing prostitutes at home. Is she accepting? She was like, she told me to do as a wife, a wife's roles, because his son is going through a lot. So I should make sure my husband is happy. If he's buying me clothes, if he's taking me to the beach, you know, for vacation, then I should make him happy. I told her, if it was her daughter, could she say those words? She was like, I don't think so. So I told Mary, please try to get out of there. So guys, things continued to get worse. Maxim even accused Mary to seduce his cousin. This guy is very jealousy and all the time he looks for the way to fight. So guys, Maxim is a guy that is spoiled. I was talking of white guys who are mama's boys, white guys that are spoiled, they don't want to work. It's not that he lost his job during the pandemic. No, he lost his job due to drinking. So that is why he has been home. So let's learn from this, guys. A guy is not working. A guy is living with his mother. A guy is living with his friends. Be careful, stay away from them. Please, I beg you, my dear, beautiful sisters, I don't want you to cry just like Mary. There are some times I couldn't even sleep well. Yes, guys, due to this lady thinking of what is going to happen to her. So guys, the situation continued to get worse until one day, Maxim raised his hands on Mary. When Mary told me about it, I told her, don't listen to anyone. Don't think that you have left home, you escaped, you don't have a job, then you should suffer like this. No, call the police. She told me, I don't know which number should I call. I don't know what to do. And you know, guys, I live in Italy, not France. So what I told her to talk to the neighbors because there are some neighbors who used to hear everything that was going on and they could ask Mary if everything is okay. I told her, talk to the neighbors, they will help you to call the police so that they can get you out there. And that is what Mary did, they called the police. Mary had the evidence because I told her to record everything. Send me all those details and delete so that when the evidence are needed, I will send them back to her. So we did like that, the police rescued Mary. Right now, as I am talking, she is in a shelter house trying to learn French and she's also getting a psychological help because she went through a lot of emotional abuse before the physical abuse happened the last time. So guys, quickly, what do we learn from this? Never resign from your job because of the man that you're not sure of, because of the man that you don't know very well, never hurry to get married. Get to know who the guy is, what he does for a living, his character. Never ignore small things. If you're fighting now, it doesn't mean when you get married, everything is going to be okay. No, they continued fighting because that was his character. So get to study a guy you are dating. I'm begging you, my dear beautiful ladies. If you are going through a lot of challenges in your relationship, in your marriage, that it is threatening your health, that is destroying you emotionally, don't be scared to leave, no matter your status, because it is all about you and your life. And lastly, guys, if you are dating a guy, you introduce him to your parents, to your friends, everyone is saying no, please sit down, think very well, try to find out why everyone is refusing him. Maybe God is trying to send a guardian angel to you through those people, through your relatives, through your friends. So never ignore such kind of a thing because it was so strange that everyone is against this relationship and see what happened. I even regret why this guy did not pay for the bride price. <laughs> African mentality. At least these parents had got something out of it. But anyways, guys, that is how it all ended very badly. So I want you to be very careful because I want you to be in healthy relationship whereby we will sit here and be telling your success story 
which will last forever thank you so much guys for watching this video till now i really appreciate you much much god bless you and i love you so much please if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up share it to the friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good you will learn a lot comment below what you think i'll be happy to know what you think about this story <laughs> until next time guys ciao ciao